This week on Maker Update, a thermoelectric doggy cooler, Pico Planet plays Bongo Cat, an electric sleigh for Santa, 3D printed foam cutter, a curve bent plywood clock, and notebook templates for thumbnail sketching. Hi, I'm Becky Stern, here for the first time hosting Maker Update. I hope you're all doing well. Let's get right into it with the project of the week. Naomi Wu built her husky dog a cooling bed so she can chill out in hot Shenzhen. This is an impressively thoughtful build made from parts usually used for water-cooled PCs. It's like a doggy heatsink. The cooled aluminum plate provides a spot for Momo the rescue dog to self-serve a cool down after being overheated. Momo has an implant that can report her body temperature via a handheld reader device. So Naomi is able to accurately measure the effects of various exercise and cool down activities. And the video is full of thermal imaging too. Naomi goes over all the considerations made regarding practicality, safety, and material choices for the thermoelectrically cooled doggy dock. The radiator and other components fit inside a custom enclosure made from aluminum extrusion and laser cut acrylic panels. It's an informative build to watch and also great for general inspiration that's useful beyond the project itself. And it satisfies what we all always hope will happen, that our pets will actually use the projects that we make for them. More projects! On YouTube, Liz on her channel Blitz City DIY shows us how she connected a Pico Planet microcontroller to the Bongo Cat website. Pico Planet is an Arduino and Python compatible SAMD21 board with beautiful generatively designed space graphics that act as capacitive touch inputs. It was created by Bleepjack, who sells them on Tindy. And it can act like an HID keyboard. So Liz did what makers do naturally and made it play memes on the internet. Her video includes all the details you need to make it your own, including the disastrously hilarious telling of what happens when you accidentally create a runaway keyboard device. I've been there, Liz, and I feel ya. Also on YouTube, over on the Kids Invent Stuff channel, Ruth and Sean built an electric sleigh for Santa from a concept by 10-year-old Isaac. Using mostly recycled bike parts, welded steel tubing, and plywood, they constructed what is basically a Christmas-themed recumbent trike. And it has a present launcher on top. We'll have to wait until next week to see it in action, but for now, check out the build video. This week, Elite Worm on Thingiverse posted this hot wire foam cutter made mostly from 3D printed parts. Although I'm sure the pieces take a while to print, this looks like a fun, achievable weekend project once all the components have been gathered. The files are free to download and print yourself, and the build video clearly demonstrates every step of the process. Not only does this look fun to build, but it's also a handy tool for working on models and miniatures. Speaking of miniatures, Jen Schachter on the Tested YouTube channel has a new video on creating hidden world diorama inside one of her laser cut book nook kits. A lot of what she shows in her detailed video is good advice for any laser cut plywood project or for anybody who wants to make miniatures and dioramas. The lights come on when you open the doors revealing a view into the hidden tiny world behind a little coat closet. Over on Instructables, Ethan Carter created a bent plywood mantle clock. He goes over every step in the video and guide, from cutting the kerfs to accenting them with epoxy and building the form to make the final shape. He cleverly used a tie-down strap to clamp the curve in place while the epoxy dried. Also on Instructables, David Watts published a guide for his free touch deck, a hotkey macro interface that aims to be an expensive DIY alternative to the commercially available Stream Deck hardware. David used an ESP32 development board and a TFT display housed in a 3D printed enclosure. The video walks you through all the configurations and demonstrates a use case controlling his streaming software, and the Instructable links out to the GitHub and Thingiverse for all the files you'll need to build your own. And now for some tools and tips. On his YouTube channel, Zach Friedman explains the Teensy microcontroller, from why it's so useful, to how to configure it with your Arduino software to work with it. If you've noticed Teensy showing up in projects all over the place and wondered what the fuss was about, Zach's video gets right to all the points that matter, from the perks and pitfalls to the essential but understated improvements that Paul and the Teensy contributors have made to the Arduino ecosystem over the years. Sophie Wong's also got a helpful new video out this week, all about creating notebook templates for thumbnail and storyboard sketching. She's got files available so you can make your own, and also shares the process in case you want to design ones to fit your specific notebook. 
I love how she improves upon her laser cut design by moving to a 3D and adding a bevel to the pencil hole, which makes it usable with a wider variety of writing implements. Sophie even includes some tips and advice for thumbnail sketching to help generate new ideas at the beginning of your process. She teaches you this classic design school technique that really helps maximize creativity and motivation. For this week's product spotlight, I'm bringing you my favorite utility knife, the Olfa 5003. I go into more detail in the review on my channel, but basically it's got all the best qualities of a beefy box cutter combined with the best qualities of a precision craft knife. The ratchet lock wheel makes an incredibly satisfying sound as it secures the position of the snap-off blade, and the metal guide holds the tip of the blade firmly in position. Nobody doesn't need one or more of these, which makes it a great holiday gift. And that about wraps it up for this week's show. Be sure to like and subscribe and let me know how I did in the comments. Sign up for the weekly Maker Update newsletter so you never miss a thing. And thanks for watching.